Hello everyone, welcome to examine our project for NWHEX 2021. So, imagine you're a student waiting to take a final you've stayed up all night studying for. It's a big test, worth a big chunk of your grade. So you've got good reasons to be nervous. You're trying to call at 5 p.m., but then you end up waiting at a call for like 10, 15, even 20 minutes. While the invigilators perform long ID checks that you, they already done a couple of times throughout the term. Not to mention the security risks associated with these checks. You're showing your name, student number, and face to a room of 200 strangers that you've never seen before. So we are a group of four students. So we all experienced this situation as school went online. We thought there needed to be some solution that addresses both the time spent before the exam and the great security and privacy vulner vulnerabilities of the identification checks. We decided to create examine an app that optimizes this process and that makes it easy for individuals to quickly check IDs. So, how does our program work? Uh, Examine was made to be as user-friendly as possible, since we all know the feeling of unfamiliarity when working with new technology. So, we decided to break things down into three easy steps. For the first step, prior to the invigilated exam, students will send in a clear picture of their student ID, or a repository of pictures of student IDs will be obtained from the university. For the second step, on the day of the exam, after uh, in the Zoom call, after instructing all students to look directly at the camera, the invigilator will take a screenshot of each slide of students in the Zoom call with everyone having their webcams on. Afterwards, the screenshots are uploaded to Examine, which will then compare all the faces in the screenshot to the databases of students. Uh, for the third step, Examine will output the class list from these uh, database of students and screenshots, indicating which students are present and which students are absent. So now for our demo. We have one folder, Images Attendance, with all the student IDs in our class. We also have a class screenshot folder with screenshots from two Zoom calls. So to run Examine, we can run our UI file and here we can select our student ID folder. So that would be our images attendance folder containing all the student IDs. Then we select our Zoom meeting screenshots folder, which would be our class screenshot folder. And lastly, we generate the attendance. What this does is compare uh, the faces of all the students um, from the images given in their student IDs to everyone who's inside uh, the screenshots of the class. So now we can press display attendance and it will display the names of everyone um, in our class who is in fact in the Zoom meeting. And to visualize this, we can press this button and it will be able to identify and label all the students um, who are in the Zoom meeting. There are multiple advantages that Examine presents. Notice that Examine benefits not only professors, but also students. On a larger scale, Examine could also be used for company meetings or for taking attendance in any other context. We built Examine using Python, primarily using the OpenCV library for its powerful computer vision capabilities. Our backend structure also included the use of NumPy, face recognition, DLib, and CMake. Our front end UI was built using GKinter. One of the big ideas we had of integrating in the future was to integrate with the Zoom API or the API of other online conference software to automatically detect attendance within the meeting without needing to manually screenshot. We also thought of potential, potentially retrieving the ID cards from the university or organization directly to further minimize the security vulnerability. In either way, we see that this program has lots of potential and solves a problem that many, if not all students face. And thanks for checking out our project. Feel free to check out our GitHub in the description below or to read more about the project at our dev post.